Now, our next song may not be a Christmas carol, but it still resonates deeply for many of us at this time of year. And to tell us why, please welcome a man who, during 40 years in the music business, has performed with Roxy Music, Squeeze, Elton John, Eric Clapton, and B.B. King, to name but a few. It's the brilliant Paul Carrick. Listen, let's get straight to it. You're a family man, so how yeah. are you going to be celebrating Christmas? My wife's family all come and visit us at Christmas because um, my family's all in the north, but we live in the south, and uh, it's very much a family thing, a very large extended family. Um, I know that uh, hymns were important to you when you were growing up. Well, we sang them every day, basically, at school, and I, I love the ancient hymns. You know, fabulous, fabulous songs uh, that have endured for centuries, so... Uh, that's what I think uh, why, why I love them, the, you know, the tradition and the fact that they, they're still around. You, you do sing songs that mean so much to so many people. Um, does that put an added pressure on you? Oh, no, I don't think so. No, um, I mean, the song I'm going to sing now is one I recorded with Mike and the Mechanics, but it was, it was written by uh, two fellas, B.A. Robertson and uh, Mike Rutherford, and um, basically the song is about their relationship with their fathers and the fact that they wished that they had resolved certain issues before their fathers passed away. Christmas is a time when we uh, focus on regrets, maybe things we've said or maybe things we haven't said as well. Mm. They just wish they'd been more open uh, with each other. And um, but that's, so I guess, yes, that's what the song's about. It's interesting, isn't it? Because it's a modern piece of music. Yeah. But for some people, it's almost like a hymn. Mm. It has that, that, that resonance, if you like. Yeah, it does. Well, it's a similar kind of structure, I suppose, uh, musically, anyway, to, to that kind of thing. And, of course, it has a wonderful chorus, which we're hoping anybody who's familiar with the song may join in. That would be wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only, Paul Carrick. Every generation blames the one before and all of their frustration come beating on your door. I know that I'm a prisoner to all my father held so dear. I know that I'm a hostage to all his hopes and fears I just wish I could have told him in the living years crumpled bits of paper filled with imperfect thoughts still to conversation I'm afraid that's all we've got You say you just don't see it You say it's perfect sense You just can't get agreement In this present tense We all talk a different language Talking in defense We say it aloud I wasn't there that morning When my father passed away I didn't get to tell him All the things I had to say but I think I caught his spirit later that same year I'm sure I heard his echo in my baby's newborn tears 
tears I wish I could have told him In the living years Say it loud Say it loud Say Now, our next carol is sometimes known as the Hymn for Christmas Day, but it's enjoyed right across Advent and the Christmas period. It's a particular favourite of mine, and uh, having recorded it recently, I hope you won't mind if I uh, start...